fat acceptance and health at every size is utter idiocy and hypocrisy that makes me ashamed to be a woman. Partially agree? Yeah, me too. Oh my god, I disagree. Acceptance of all sizes is necessary. If we can accept you greedy Asians, we can accept fatties like me. Hold up, how are they greedy? Oh my god, don't engage with crazy. Every time you comment, tweet, blog, share a meme about body size in negative ways, this is weight stigma. Ah, da, 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 I'm gonna stop you there. No, you can't be mad at a meme because it speaks truth. You sure as hell can't be mad about a tweet or a blog post that's talking about how different weights and different body types are detrimental. And seriously, how entitled can someone be to think that every post about body size is about them? Thin privilege and weight stigma reinforces trauma narratives. Hey, you know what? Whatever helps you sleep at night. It's not even shocking that people have to say this to themselves in order to justify their eating habits. I mean, for real, you're, the only person you're hurting is yourself. Because absolutely no one believes this post. No one will just read this and be like, Oh yeah, that's true. Thin privilege and weight stigma reinforces trauma narratives. If you are thin by any sort of color, shape, or whatever, you have thin privilege. Congratulations, thin minorities, you've just earned thin privilege. Congratulations, now you must repent for your sins because there's fat people in the world who aren't as happy as you. Go ahead and redeem your privilege pass on your way out. Thin privilege! You sure have a lot of time to list a lot of bullshit. Wait, what? Thin privilege is being able to walk without getting one. <laughs> I wish the body hitting would go away for everyone. My daughter is skinny and yet still worried about her shape. And I'm never gonna be a different shape without starvation or at least overemphasis on food. And I'm healthy this way. Society is so hard on femmes and bodies. Like there is nothing wrong with being fat. Some of us are naturally fat. The data actually shows this, but doctors continue to fat shame. Okay, if the data shows it, share it. Oh, you didn't. Also, I love how everybody is so sympathetic with young girls, like dudes. Young boys don't suffer too. Young boys are cognizant of their bodies too, but I guess they don't suffer in the same way. And get ready for some real shit. Everybody cares about their body. Literally, everyone is cognizant on the way that they look. And the reason why is not only because we're trying to, you know, look attractive for uh, a partner in the future, but also because we want to be healthy. Your little girl is probably so fixated on her body is because she's afraid of becoming fat. She probably has a fat girl in the class and realizes, I don't want to be that. So let me just try to avoid that. She probably looks at you and is like, why is my mother so spherical? It's not natural to be overweight. I hate thin people. So after my last thin privileges post about how thin people love themselves, people have been saying, but some thin people have depression. <laughs> what? I hate thin people more now. Are you serious? Hold up. Whoa. You are blessed with a nice body. Why would you go and get depression? Fuck you. Are you serious? Just because somebody is physically attractive doesn't mean they're not horrifyingly sad and broken in the inside. Are you... What's wrong with you? You're so deplorable. PSA. Stop pushing diet culture at weight loss onto children. Dieting and talking about weight loss both lead to increased risk of developing obesity and eating disorders. Nothing good comes of pushing diet culture and fat food beyond to children, so just don't, okay? I will, okay? For real, if I have a child, I'm going to make sure they eat well, because I'm responsible for them. It's just that simple. If you can afford to get fat, you can afford to get fit. Enough said, bitch. If he can do it, so can you. <laughs> Bullshit. He's a freaking millionaire and probably had help to the tune of thousands of dollars. Ah! Nope. Ah, stop. You can't fall back on the fact that you're broke. Nah. Okay, I get it. If you can't afford vegetables and you don't have a trainer, that's fine. But know what you can do? Push-ups, sit-ups, and diet restriction. <gasps> oh my gosh. Because last time I checked, Ronald McDonald isn't coming at you in your face with a deagle telling you to buy chicken nuggets. You can stop yourself, you know? Fat people live longer because they have a slower metabolism. They burn energy much like a tortoise. Do we... Do we tell her? Unless you're her doctor, refrain from commenting on anyone's health. You cannot tell a person's health based on size. <laughs> yes you can, Lamau. I wish they would put a real size model on the page. What happens to those of us who have roles? Keep it real people, just saying. <laughs> yeah, and please have more coverage in the middle between the cups. Some of us need it, I don't understand. She's real, there are plenty of women who look like her. 
eating disorders are fat shaming. No, they, they no, they aren't. It, oh my gosh, if you have anorexia, bulimia, or any other eating disorder, you're implying that being fat is wrong, that fat people are ugly and horrible. No, people who are bulimic can't stop themselves from throwing up, and people who are anorexic don't eat enough because they have it somewhere in their mind that they have to reach a body, I don't know, like a, a, a body ideal that they don't even realize is detrimental. They're skin and bones. What in the world is wrong with you? These two eating disorders can kill people. What's wrong with you? Any artist who only draws thin characters slash people and refuses to draw larger bodies needs to be reported for hate speech. Yo, what? That doesn't even make sense. Where does that make? That doesn't, that doesn't make any, doesn't make any. I just lost 10 pounds. Being proud of your own weight loss is triggering to fat people. Well, at least she's honest. For real, why is it so bad that other people are just happy with losing weight? Dieting forces the brain to eat itself, leaving you with two choices. A, get thinner and dumber, or B, learn to love yourself. You do know that your body doesn't start consuming itself until late stage starvation. Yeah, two days of not eating McDonald's isn't going to encourage your brain to feast on itself. All forms of cancer have weight loss as a symptom, but please keep telling me how weight loss is healthy. Um, you do realize you have to get the cancer first. To lose the weight you don't lose weight and then get cancer she does know that right hello it's your boy Alaris, and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and let me know in the comments down below I really do read all the comments uh, I love what you guys say it's so wonderful and nice and if you really want to talk to me more go ahead and go into the discord chat it's in the description and uh, yeah have a nice day and see you next time